This video shows a simple example of using RoboGraph to program a mobile robot tasks. RoboGraph was developed as a part of the robotics integrated development environment. First, we will describe the robot guide example and the scenario where it is going to take place. This is the map of our department where we are going to set up the example. The robot is going to be placed at the start position. Then it should go to point one, change the facial expression, reproduce an audio file, and change again the facial expression. After visiting point one, the robot should visit point two and reproduce a similar sequence. Now we will define the petri nets needed to program this example. The main petri net will receive the list of points to visit. Each point in the list will contain the coordinates in the map and the audio file to reproduce. Places with blue black background are primitive actions while places in green will start another petri net that we will define later. The place with yellow background is defined as the final place. This is the sequence that the dispatch will execute for the case of two points like our example. First dispatch will get the next point from the list. If there is a new point, it will start the go to point petri net that will command the robot to go to point one. The parameters for the go to point petri net are the point coordinates. When the go to point petri net ends, the explain point petri net will be started with the audio file name as a parameter. Once the audio file has been reproduced, a new point will be extracted from the list. The sequence for this point is going to be similar. Finally, when the list is empty, the petri net will conclude. The go to point petri net will receive the goal point coordinates. This is the sequence that the dispatch will execute. First, the dispatch will command the path planner module to get the path from the robot, from the robot's current position to the goal. This is done by sending the corresponding message to the path planner module. The path planner module should publish a message with the path. When dispatch receives that message, it sends another message to the reactive control module to follow the path. When the reactive control reaches the goal, it will send a message. The dispatch receives the message and concludes the petri net. The explain point petri net receives the name of the file to reproduce. This is the sequence that the dispatch will execute. First, the dispatch commands a couple of actions in parallel. One is to command the head control module to change the expression. The other is to command the play multimedia module to reproduce the audio file. When the Play Multimedia module finishes, it sends a message that is going to be received by the dispatch, which concludes the petri net. The next step is to program these petri nets using RoboGraph. 
As an example, we are going to program the GoToPoint PetriNet using Carmen module.